So here we are. I want you to look at this tank. And when I look at this tank, it actually reminds me of myself. And what I mean by that is, and, and I'm not saying this in like a pompous, arrogant type way, but when I look at my tank, I think this is really cool. This is a beautiful tank. Very neat, very pretty, uh, very complex. Um, but the thing is, is once you start getting a little closer to it, you start to see things that maybe you didn't see from afar. And what I mean is like when you start looking under some of the rocks towards the back, you see little spots of hair algae growing. Or even some nuisance things like this little guy right here, tiny little Aptasia that I purposely left for this video. Uh, and you start to see little defects. And, and the reason that I love this analogy is because it's just like me as a person. You know, from, from afar, I, I look like maybe a cool person, and, and maybe I seem real and genuine. Uh, but when you get up close and personal to me, you get to know that I'm kind of just like everyone else. I, in a lot of ways, I, I have a lot of uh, struggles. I, I would say issues. I, I was going to say issues, but yeah, it's truthful. I, I, I have issues. I, I make mistakes. And, but the other side of it is, is the more that I work on this tank, the more that I put into taking care of the fish and the corals and, and everything that's alive in here, the more they respond in a better way. The more I just sit back and take it easy and, and don't do anything, don't do any water changes, forget to fill my dosing bottles, uh, don't clean the glass or scrape the, the glass algae off. It's like the more I take it easy and, and just neglect some of that stuff, the worse the tank starts to look even from afar. And, and even in those conditions, it's not even improving. It's just, it's kind of just sitting there in a lot of ways. And, and again, when I look at myself, I think when I'm just taking it easy every day, like when I show up to work, let me, let me, let me back up. When I wake up in the morning and the, the first thought that comes to my mind is, oh, I have to go to work today. I have to do this when I get home from work. I have to put up with this person. I have to be part of this family event or whatever it is like when when that's my mindset right away in the morning I'm already off to a negative start it's so important how we start our days it's so important that we train ourselves to wake up in the morning and and instantly put on a thought about how can I be a difference maker today how can I go to work and just kick butt and, and do it, even though I know I haven't been noticed much for the work that I've been doing, I'm just going to keep doing it anyways. Because when the company downsizes and they're looking at people who they want to keep and who they're going to get rid of, things are going to pop up and they're going to notice the hard work that I've been doing. They're going to say, I can't get rid of this guy. We need this guy. And, and even in that situation, it, it really gives you room to, to bargain and maneuver. We're kind of getting off track a little bit. But the point is, is the more that we work on ourself, the more we improve, the more we work on our tank and do meaningful, thoughtful things that are beneficial, the more healthy the tank is. And, and I want us to think about that for a second, because we all want to do beneficial things. We all do as humans. We think about it all day long, but that's kind of the extent of it for a lot of us. A lot of the time is it's just a thought. It swells up as a thought in our mind. We maybe even get excited about it and, and start heading in that direction, but we never actually follow through. I want to challenge us with this. And, and 
Maybe this won't be as long of a video. I don't know. I always say I'm, I'm almost done and then it winds up being like another five minutes. But I want to challenge, challenge us with this. And, and this could go for me because I could go right through my camera phone right now, pop out right next to you, and we could sit next to each other and listen to these words. This is just as much for me as anybody else. Is what, what if we spent 10 minutes a day? Just start out. Just 10 minutes a day. Think about that. Before I even say anything else. Just think, what's 10 minutes a day going to cost you? 10 freaking minutes. What's it going to cost you? It's going to cost you 10 minutes. You probably pick your nose for more than 10 minutes a day. Like, we can we can part with 10 minutes of our day. What if for 10 minutes of a day, every day for the next week, we started to do something meaningful? Say you wanted to study to be a marine biologist. Maybe you didn't even want to go to school, but, but you wanted to start studying for it. Because you just want to know more about this hobby. So what if for 10 minutes every day for the next week, you started going online and researching marine biology, researching uh, marine life corals and, and fish and invertebrates, all the way down to the, the tiny planktons and, and zooxanthella. And what if just 10 minutes a day you did that? Now I want you to think, if you did that every day for two months, do you think that you would look back over those two months and think that was time that I wasted? That was time that was ill spent? Think about it. Like, no, you, you would look back at the end of those two months and you would think, man, I freaking kicked butt. And I have a lot of wisdom to share with people when I talk about my reef tank now, when I talk to other reefers, when I talk to other coral addicts. I actually have something to share but but think about it two months from now you look back and you chose not to do it you chose not to make 10 minutes for whatever it is that you set your heart and your mind to do that's productive not I'm gonna spend 10 minutes playing a, a dumb computer game or <laughs> I'm not gonna spend 10 minutes uh, you know doing something silly like that has no impact on your life or anyone's life around you but what if you look back two months from now and you didn't do anything? You're really just going to be the same person. You haven't grown at all. You haven't stretched yourself. You haven't developed anything new that you can share with society, that you can share with the world. And I kind of feel like that's the problem with the world today. And, and let, me, let, me, let me cut that down a little bit. I kind of feel like that's the problem with America today is we get so used to living comfortably. In fact, we, all, we actually will go out of our way to be comfortable. We will put other people at risk so that we can be comfortable. We will make other people feel like crap so that we can feel comfortable or so that we can feel right. Instead of accepting the challenge and saying, damn, this is hard, this looks hard, this is gonna be difficult, but I bet it's going to make me grow. Instead of saying that, we look at it and, and we look at the challenge and say, how can I get out of this? How can I pass this off to someone else at, at my work today? How can I figure out a way to sidestep this or burn up the clock so it gets close enough to the time that I have to go home and I, I can sidestep this project and hopefully it'll go away or someone else will do it. Like That's our mindset. So if we look back from two months from now, and, and we haven't developed ourselves any more than we are today. We're not growing as a human. We're actually not even living the way that we were created to live. The way that God created us to live is to be challenged. Because when you're challenged, you're being tried. And when you're being tried, you're being tested. And when you're being tested, you're learning. You're actually developing skills. You're, you're building character. You're building integrity. You're building yourself up as a man. You're building yourself up as a woman. And you're developing something that you can offer to others where people might be in need or people might need some help of some sort. Now, now let me say this, and, and we're going to come to a close here shortly for the second time. Is Sorry, I'm really moving around a lot. Um, no, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So what if what if this is your thought as a human being right now is, what if I hear, what if you're saying to yourself, I hear what he's saying, but I don't necessarily really care that much. 
And that's fair. Maybe maybe that's kind of where you're at right now. Maybe that's the place of life that you're at is maybe you just don't care that much about what you have to offer. Maybe you're comfortable just being comfortable and just getting by or maybe you've been spoiled or maybe you're just rich. Maybe you have worked hard and now you're just sitting back and you're on cruise control and you're coasting. And and if that's where you want to live, if if that's where you're fine with being, then so be it. But but for me personally, and I know a lot of you who are listening right now, there's something inside of you that just like me right now, you're, you're thinking, I do want to grow. I do want to develop what I'm capable of doing and what I'm capable of learning. Like, it's, it's amazing to me how many of us could be some of the smartest freaking people in the country if we would spend 10 minutes a day every day of our life putting what we have at our disposal to good use and learning and studying and applying our our skills applying what we're capable of doing like it it would be amazing to me the type of people that we could be it would be amazing so i just want to challenge us myself included with that could we spend 10 minutes a day for the next let's let's just say one week we'll start with one week 10 minutes a day end this video and and Write down a few ideas of something that you want to get better at as a person. That maybe you've been thinking about it for a long time. Whatever it is. Maybe it's just being a better husband. Or a better wife. Or a better father. Or a better child. Um, Whatever it is. Write down some ideas. And, And today or tomorrow, go through the process of elimination and pick one thing. Don't, Don't pick a bunch of things. Just start with one. Don't overwhelm yourself. To start with one thing that you can somehow work on and improve for 10 minutes a day for the next week. And and hopefully, you know, we'll remember and maybe we can bounce some things off each other in the chat or whatever. Or you can even just share the thing that you want to work on uh, as as a human you want to grow at. And 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 I'll share something too in the chat. And and I just I think I think we're gonna be happy. I think it's really going to bless a lot of people and and you're going to be like, man, I'm capable of more than I thought. Yeah, there were some uncomfortable days where it was hard to make time. It was difficult to get motivated. It was difficult to get going. I was confused. I didn't know what I was doing. Like, but but just 10 minutes a day for the next week. Maybe it turns into something, maybe it doesn't. Hopefully it it sticks. Hopefully it turns into something and and then you can say, "You know what? I'm going to start doing 20 minutes a day." I'm going to start doing 30 minutes a day in in a couple months. Next thing you know, you're going to be a freaking dentist or a doctor. And and you're going to have one of the nicest reef takes in the country because you decided to apply what you were already given from birth. But you just decided to start using it and working with it. So there's a lot more things that I could share, a lot more things I could say. Um, But I think that's good for one video, good for one night. I feel challenged and and I'm looking forward to it. Like I'm actually looking forward to growing. I'm looking forward to the next challenge. And I'm, next time something difficult happens, I'm going to say instead of complaining and whining and bitching and moaning until this problem goes away, maybe I should think how can this problem develop me as a person? How can I grow up a little bit more and learn to take it like a man or take it like a woman and make something out of this and and bless the people around me, you know, like, I love when I stand up to to fear or or pressure and and then people around me notice and they're like, man, that was awesome. Good job. Like, (laughs) I would never have been able to do that. When's the last time somebody told you that? Has it been ever? And, and if it has been, doesn't it feel good? Like, it just feels good. Okay, I'm going to cut the video off. I'm going to just share a few quick thoughts about the corals. Is I, I did frag a ton of corals over the last three, four days, five days, something like that. Uh, you can see a lot of them. A lot of them are just looking beautiful, looking great. Uh, but like I shared, there's still some kinks in the tank that I'm working at, uh, working out. But, uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't have this tank any other way. Um, This was a chalice that accidentally dropped, or a big rock fell when I was moving, doing a little aquascaping. Uh, 
crushed part of the, the chalice, so I had to take the whole thing out. If some of you guys remember, it was like right there, so I moved that rock there. The other rock, I had to bust it up with a hammer and a chisel, and then try to cut off little pieces of the chalice. I, I, I think I saved probably about 75 to 80 percent of it. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of thankful for that. And then I got a few big grow out discs down in the sump of it as well. One on the back wall, a couple there. You can see all the mushrooms going on down there. But uh, yeah, so there's another OG bounce in the top left corner of that mushroom container. You can see it's kind of like my own little uh, refugium too right now. <laughs> But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, I know, 10 minutes ago I said I was wrapping it up for the first time. <laughs> but uh, I, as always, I appreciate you guys. Uh, looking forward to, to hearing what some of you guys want to develop in your life and what you guys want to work on. And I'll be sharing that too. So take it easy. And actually, don't take it easy. <laughs> Keep working hard. Apply yourself. Aquatic Bobs.